If you've ever tried building a website, you already know the struggle isn't just about what your site should look like, it's about what platform to even build it on. These days we're spoiled with options, but too many choices can make it harder, not easier. Two names that constantly pop up are Hostinger and Wix, but they're not as interchangeable as you might think. One leans heavily into flexibility and long-term growth, while the other thrives on ease and simplicity. So which one's actually better for you? Well, let's break it down. Before we do that though, if you're leaning toward Hostinger, I've got a special discount for you. Just use the code SITESTARTER at checkout for 10% off your plan. And if you're thinking Wix might be the better fit, don't worry, I'll include a link to their latest offers too. To start, it's important to understand that Hostinger and Wix aren't aiming to do the exact same thing. Hostinger is primarily a web hosting provider and a solid one, offering everything from WordPress hosting to VPS and cloud plans. They also have their own website builder, which is geared toward beginners. Wix, by contrast, is an all-in-one platform where hosting design and tools are bundled into a single drag-and-drop interface. In simple terms, Wix is like ordering takeout, quick, easy, and ready to go. Hostinger is more like buying the groceries and cooking the meal yourself. It might take longer, but you've got more control over the final results. Now, if speed and ease are at the top of your list, Wix might win you over pretty quickly. Its drag and drop editor is extremely beginner friendly, requiring zero tech know-how. You pick a template, fill in your content, and your site is live. Hostinger setup, especially if you go the WordPress route, comes with a few more moving parts. You choose a theme, install plugins, and configure settings. That said, their custom dashboard and guided on boarding make it easier than old school hosting setups. And if you use the hosting or website builder instead of WordPress, things get a lot simpler while still leaving you with more flexibility than Wix in the long run. Design is another area where Wix shines, especially if you want a professional looking site without spending hours tinkering. It offers hundreds of modern, well-designed templates that are fully customizable right in the visual editor. Hostinger's WordPress route, on the other hand, opens up thousands of themes, many of which are far more flexible than Wix's templates, but they often take more time to configure. If you're using Hostinger's website builder, you'll get some sleek layouts too, but Wix still has the edge when it comes to pure visual polish right out of the box. Where things start to even out is features. Wix has a ton built into the platform. SEO tools, e-commerce, blogs, booking systems, forms, and a whole lot more. Everything is designed to work together smoothly, but that also means you're stuck with what Wix gives you. Hostinger, especially with WordPress, gives you a more modular system. You need a specific SEO plugin? Want to add membership? ships, forms, or detailed analytics, there's probably a plugin that does exactly what you want. That flexibility gives you room to build something unique, even if it takes a little more time. Now let's talk pricing, because if we're honest, this is one of the biggest deciding factors for most people, and it's where Hostinger and Wix take very different approaches. Wix runs on a subscription model where everything, hosting, design tools, templates, and core features is bundled into one plan. It's a bit pricier than traditional hosting, especially if you want to remove ads or run an online store, but that higher price comes with a lot of convenience. You're not juggling plugins or updates, it just works. For a lot of people, that simplicity and all-in-one structure is worth the cost. Hostinger, on the other hand, is one of the most budget-friendly options out there, especially if you go with their multi-year plans. You get fast, reliable hosting with a free domain in your first year, SSL, and email all included. If you go to the WordPress route, then you'll have more flexibility and lower ongoing costs, but you'll also be managing more of the setup yourself. It's a trade-off between cost and convenience, and which one works best really depends on how hands-on you want to be. On the performance side, Hostinger definitely holds its own. Thanks to Lightspeed servers, websites hosted with Hostinger, especially WordPress ones, tend to be fast and responsive. You can also fine-tune your speed using caching plugins and performance tweaks. Wix is solid for most small to medium sites, but you won't have much control over back-end optimization. What you get is what you get, which is fine for a lot of people, but potentially limiting as your site grows. Support is solid across both platforms, but again, there are some trade-offs. Wix has 24-7 customer support and plenty of articles to walk you through most issues. It's consistent, but sometimes a little robotic. Hosting or support has come a long way with a live chat system that's surprisingly helpful, especially if you're using WordPress. Their tutorials are also excellent, ideal for people who like solving problems on their own, but want guidance along the way. So how do you choose? Well, if you want a no-fuzz professional-looking site up and running by tonight, 
Wix is probably your go-to. It's built for people who don't want to touch code, plugins, or anything too technical. It's especially great for portfolios, local businesses, and creatives who care more about how the site looks than what's under the hood. But if you're planning to grow your website, explore more custom options, or just want better long-term control, Hostinger is a smarter move. Whether you build with WordPress or their website builder, it gives you a lot more flexibility and way more room to scale. In the end, this isn't really a winner-takes-all situation. Both Hostinger and Wix are excellent tools, but they're solving different problems. Wix is about convenience and speed. Hostinger is about freedom and potential. The better question isn't about which one's better overall, it's which one's better for you. And if after all this, you're leaning toward Hostinger, don't forget to use the code SITESTARTER at checkout to get 10% off your hosting plan. It's a solid way to save a bit, whether you're starting a blog, launching a business, or just experimenting. If Wix feels like the better fit, I've got a link to their latest deals as well. So either way, you're not paying full price just to get your website off the ground. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. At any rate, though, thank you all so much for watching as always. And until next time, make sure to take care.